So a month ago, I made a video ranking the best katanas in Elden Ring, and to do that I tested in-game using the first frame of damage to the last frame of damage of each Ash of War. And so with my DPS calculator up and running, I have now done a revised version using the regular attacks of the katanas to calculate DPS accurately using the in-game parameters instead of using in-game testing, which can be subjective. In my original list, I had Hand of Melania at the bottom, having the lowest damage per second. And in my updated list, calculating the DPS using frame data and attack data, instead of in-game testing, Hand of Melania is at the top of the list with the highest DPS. My updated list is calculating using 80 points in optimal stats and is based on the average PVE defenses and absorptions. So Hand of Melania is actually the best katana for PVE, assuming you're only going to use the regular attacks. And with all katanas, it is best to power stance. That will give you the most DPS compared to one hand or two hand attacks. Next up is Meteoric or Blade which was also kind of further down the list originally. Same thing with the Serpent Bone Blade. And then the two infusible katanas, the Kiinuchi Katana and Kiinagiba, are back being middle of the pack when they were middle upper before. And to no one's surprise, Rivers of Blood is in the bottom again. Rivers isn't good no matter how you slice it, as this shows. But Moonvale is, again, below that pack of Uchikatana, Nagiba, and Dragon Scale Blade is a little bit further down. It doesn't really have a lot going for it. Now to be clear, this is not calculating the auxiliary effect, so bleed or poison for katanas. 